Oh, hello. This is Drew with Michigan Adventure Life. And this week, Kara and I are still in the Hiawatha National Forest in Michigan's Upper Peninsula on Fish Lake, camping, hoping to get some fishing in. Fish Lake Island is pretty much my favorite place in the world. It's a great place to wake up, the smell of pines, the sound of birds, and my dog just snoring beside me. There's not many better ways to start a day. If you'll remember, we got in late the night before, and a late night usually leads to a late start to the next day. But when you've got a dog who was in the car all day the day before, well, she's usually ready to get up and get going right away. With the sun up, we could see a few other camps around the lake. But considering how remote the area is, we probably wouldn't have to run into anyone unless we wanted to. Kara loves killing time on this island in the UP while we wait for our friends. All the smells, the sand, the sun, and the water. On an island she can run around off leash, without a collar, without a care. It'll be even better when she has more friends here to play with. Once she's worn out a little bit, you know, it's time to get in the boat, hit the water, open it up a little bit to see how it runs after that long road trip. I also brought my new fly rod, got an eight weight that I want to try out and I've never actually casted from this boat before. The bays north of the island have steep drop-offs with weeds and structure for lazy fish on those hot summer days. With coves and inlets full of weeds and brush, Fish Lake is easy on fish but it's kind of hard on fishermen. If you let your wet fly sink too far, it's gonna come back covered in weeds, definitely without a fish. You've gotta keep things moving constantly. You never really wanna search for the bottom with a wet fly. And then, when I finally get one to hook up, I couldn't get to my remote and couldn't get my camera turned around. Oh. And I lost it. I, finally have I guess sometimes I need to focus on fishing instead of filming it. Eh? A lot of times when that happens, when I haven't had any luck, or I blow it when I do, I'll just switch tactics, switch rigs, switch species. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And as life has taught me, time and again, sometimes all it takes is lowering your expectations a little bit. All right. As the sun started to get a little lower, finally. I finally got something that made my day worth it. Hell, it probably made the whole trip. Was it the fish of a lifetime? No. But it let me know there still are some big fish here and they're gonna swim in these warmer temperatures. And I'm not embarrassed to say, that was the biggest bass I've caught this season. Probably the biggest bass I'll catch all year. Now I could finally call it a decent day fishing, great day on the water. It's time to head back in make a campfire, 
you know, figure something out for dinner for Karen and I. I think I'm thinking steaks. Once the fire is made and the steak's all cooked, we enjoy that classic My Adventure Life meal, steaks standing over the open campfire. Kara loves it when we eat steak, because she knows she's getting some too. Now it's just time to think about bed, enjoy the evening, try and get a little sleep, because tomorrow our friends show up. That's going to be all this week. Thanks for joining us, guys. If you liked it, remember to give it the thumbs up. Even if you didn't, you know, throw us a bone. Make sure you click subscribe somewhere down there and then click that bell because it's going to send you a notification whenever we post. So, you know, you'll find out next week when Dick and Sam and Emily and John join us on Fish Lake Island in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. Also, if you could just leave a comment down there wherever and let us know how you're liking this new format for season three. That'd be great, guys. So, uh, you know, thanks for joining our adventures. This has been MI Adventure Life. Thanks, guys.